What up, everybody? Back again with our negative number unit. Here is our first mastery check in our negative number unit. Today, we're going to be doing our mastery check of 6 NS5 through 7. So those are the standards we'll be checking. We love to have you join us. So let's dive under the water and see why we're doing this. We do this because of this key thought. It's okay to fail as long as you learn from it. So the point of this video is we're gonna give you a couple problems, starting with the least difficult and going to the most difficult, and you're gonna be able to check your mastery of your negative numbers. If you've been with us since the beginning of our playlist, we're gonna be checking each of those objectives that we talked about in our lessons. This is a great tool to help you study for a test or just help you figure out whether or not you've mastered the content that we've been teaching you. And if not, you can go back and rewatch the videos if you have mastered it, time to move on and get to bigger and better things. Number one says, what point on the number line represents negative three and one half? All right, so two ways to do this. You can either go to the description of the video and find the link to our master check. You can open it up, print it out, or try to solve it on the computer. Or if you can't do either one of those, that's totally okay. You can actually pause the video right now, solve it, and then use my work to check your work to see whether or not you mastered it. So hopefully you just paused it and now we're ready to go. It says, what point in the number line represents negative three and one half? I know the negative sign is directional. It's telling me to do the opposite of positive three and one half. So I'm gonna be going to the left of my zero on my number line. I know I'm gonna be going three whole units. So one, two, three, and then a little bit more, which would be this dot right here. This is negative three and one half. If you chose this one, then you did positive three and one half, right? And then some of you might have chosen this one because you knew you had to go three, but then you went backwards towards zero one half when really you're continuing to go to the left because of the negative sign. If you didn't get that one right, go ahead and check out our very first lesson on how to plot integers on a number line and then check out how to plot rational numbers on a number line. We'll put those links in the description of this video. Let's go on to number two. I always laugh when I say number two. What is the opposite of negative 18? So we know the opposite can be shown using a negative sign. So if we want the opposite of negative 18, that means we are gonna write it mathematically like this, the opposite of negative 18. So we're looking for the number on the other side of zero that has the same absolute value of 18, which would be positive. The opposite of an opposite is a positive. Or in other words, two negatives make a positive. So your answer is 18. Let's go on to number three. Number three says, what integer represents these situations? So here are some real world situations. We're gonna be looking for keywords to help us understand what's happening. Ken withdrew 350 from his bank account. That means he went backwards 350. So that is gonna be negative 350. They were standing 25 feet above sea level, which means you're going upwards from zero, so that's going to be a positive 25 feet. The fish swam 38 feet below sea level, right? So we're gonna be going down away from zero, below sea level means we're gonna be in the negatives, and that's gonna be negative 38 feet. So these are my three integers that represent these three situations. Let's do our last problem, our most challenging one, number four. So here it says, order these from greatest to least. Now, number four is always our most challenging question because you're gonna have to combine a couple different lessons into one to really check your understanding. So here we have numbers with absolute value and then just normal integers. So what we wanna do first is we wanna convert our absolute value because we don't wanna know the value of negative eight, we wanna know the absolute value of negative eight. So the absolute value of negative eight is gonna be eight. And then my absolute value of 19 is just 19. Now we're gonna plot these on a number line, okay, as best as we can. Here is zero, and zero is actually one of my numbers. And then I'm going from greatest to least, which means I wanna go furthest to the right to furthest to the left. The further to the right, the greater your value, and the further to the left, the smaller your value. So I'm not gonna plot negative eight, I'm gonna be plotting eight, because I wanna know the absolute value. So here I have zero, that one's pretty easy, all right? I have negative, or sorry, I have eight, so I'm gonna be moving eight to the right, and I'll just kind of guesstimate where that's gonna be. I had zero, I have negative five, so I'll be moving negative five units, or five units to the left. I have 19, the absolute value of 19 was 19, so further to the right than eight, somewhere maybe over here, okay? 
I have 12, which is bigger than 8, but less than 19. So let's put it right here. And then I have negative 4, so negative 1, 2, 3, 4. And that would be right before negative 5. So I want to go from greatest to least. So my furthest one to the right was 19. So the absolute value of 19 is greater than 12, which is greater than 8, which is greater than 0, which is greater than negative 4, which is greater than negative 5. So here's my inequality statement, ordering these from greatest to least. Hopefully you're able to get all those right. If not, go back and check out our lesson. Check out our song to help you review. We love that you chose to check your mastery with Instructor Beats. Thank you so much. Leave a comment below. Let us know where you're watching from. Like the video. We'd love to have you subscribe. You can find us on all social media platforms. Thank you again. Instructor Beats, out.